Welcome to Tales of Honor, a podcast with a mission to tell the true stories of every recipient of our nation's highest military award, the Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's episode of Tales of Honor podcast. I'm your host, Christoph Ambrose, and today's episode is number 497. Man, we're almost to 500. It just hit me the other day. I looked at the numbers. I'm like, wow. We're almost to 500, which is crazy. Only 30,000 more left to go. Um, One birthday to go over today, and that was actually yesterday's birthday, March 12th, 1943. This birthday belongs to Mr. James Fleming, who is a former U.S. Air Force colonel that earned the Medal of Honor during the Vietnam War. So a very happy 79th birthday to Mr. Fleming. That's all the birthdays I have for today. And the only reminder I have for you is to head into the link in the show notes to both check out show sponsor Motor City Munitions and to learn more about the Medal of Honor mail call that's coming up. March 25th is National Medal of Honor Day, and it's fast approaching. So if you'd like to write a letter to a living Medal of Honor recipient, such as Mr. James Fleming, you sure can. Link is in the show notes. Go ahead. Go do it. Have your kids do it. It's a fun time for everybody. And uh, that's all I have to say about that. So without any further ado, let's jump right on into today's tale of honor. Frank was born in Avon, Illinois, on the 2nd of December, 1867, and his father, Leonard, was an Army Brigadier General that had served in the Mexican-American War and the American Civil War. Frank grew up with his ten siblings, seven from his father's first marriage, before enlisting in the U.S. Army in North Dakota and deploying to the Philippines in support of the Philippine-American War. It was his actions as a member of Young's Scouts that would earn him the Medal of Honor. The citation reads, With 21 other scouts charged across a burning bridge under heavy fire and completely routed 600 of the enemy who were entrenched in a strongly fortified position. Frank was a private at the time of his actions, and although I'm uncertain when, he would eventually reach the rank of captain before leaving the army. He received the Medal of Honor on the 6th of June, 1906, and he was married to Florence with no mention of having any children. Frank Fulton Ross died on the 29th of January, 1936, at the age of 68, and he is buried with his wife in the Bellevue Memorial Park in Ontario, California. F section, lot three, grave seven. And that was a tale of honor. Thank you for listening to Tales of Honor, and if you enjoyed the show, please be sure to subscribe and tell your friends and family. Tales of Honor is written and produced by Christoph Ambrose, and theme music is Loyalty and Duty by Floru's Music. If you have any questions, you can send an email to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com. And please be sure to visit talesofhonorpodcast.com for more episodes and information.